Good morning, team. I'm at a different water park today than the one I was at yesterday. <sighs> this uh, this is a this is a whitewater rain fortress. It's just it's almost like ours, the one I have at home. Hell, heck, we even have this same little get up right here. Um, definitely a little different. Uh, it's got a couple more sections available, and most of the slides turn to another direction. All mine, the runouts are facing this direction. All the runouts here are facing the opposite direction, which is kind of cool. It gives you a 360 kind of deal, kind of look. Um, yeah. I like this little, this little slider slide. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's a decent length size slide right here. Um, definitely differences in the way ours is, ours is built. That's cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, check out these little slides. I don't know if these are whitewater. I mean, I want to figure that out. But I don't know if you can see it. But there's a duck in that yellow slide right there. That's it. You know, ducky. <clears throat> he don't much like me, but that's okay. I don't know if these are white water. We're about to find out. Uh, these are cute little slides, though, into this this pool. She needs a little dirt cleaning. But what's cool about this is it goes into this pink slide, goes from the big one to here, and then you go from here to the green one. That's that's pretty cool. These are white water. These are cool. I see the white water uh, symbol right there. Look at the ducky. It's a ducky. This river they have is pretty long. It's I've, I have, it's not a part I haven't seen of it already. As far as it, yeah, it's pretty long. For Q, for Q. Got some body slides over there with the mat racer. For Q. Why is these cabanas? Wonder if there's any manufacturers on them. Simple, easy. They look like they're easy to maintain, and they have a fan mount. There we go. What is it? Resort cabanas. Oh, thanks. Here, let's see if we can get closer. Okay. Well, I can't read it, but I'll read it on the video when I get the video up. <laughs> but they're pretty nice. The fabric feels kind of weird. But all in all, they're pretty nice. Solid looking. And that's just fine. Just fine. These are typical Funbrellas. Who are these by? Skyspan. All right, all right. Uh, the one thing I, I do like about this attraction, about this one specifically, is because it's kind of like this 360, you have a lot of real estate for kids to play. And you see you have the toys. You know, we have these toys, but now, these toys are used in this area. Finally walking up one of the towers. Getting a look at this slide. There's that tornado. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this bowl. Okay. Need some gel coat work. Somebody been in there caulking. Good job. Somebody been there caulking, caulking. Why they got a big old pry bar, I have no idea. It's kind of weird. <laughs> so this is a mini boomerango. Uh, usually a one man or two man, I think, at this location. We'll go down and look at it. But we're actually gonna go walk it. Walk its uh, glass, I wanna walk it. If I'm not too tired. I don't see, oh yeah. I don't know if it works, there's the red light, green light. I doubt it works. You see the wires hanging out right there. Okay, 
Uh, they did have a chip or something that they were repairing. Okay. Wow. It is a pretty park. You know, for being in the middle of Nevada, it's a lot of greenery. I was making note of the grass here. The grass right here is, uh, it's actually really nice. I'm a little jealous. It looks really good. Wow, this is a nice park though. Um, you know, it's really busy. You got a lot of, yeah, it's got a lot of park to it. All right, let's see. I'm not even gonna try walking down this one yet. <laughs> Look at that drop. <whistles> so this one's not too different from our Super Bowl. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, it's a man, just a one man, two man ride. Wow. That's an intense drop actually. Now me, I'd probably put a rope down it because I don't want to. I don't want to go it that way. That's that's rough. Okay. Hello. All right. Let's walk this one. So, like I said, this is a mini boomerango. Might as well do some inspection while I'm in it. A little chip, nothing too bad. Oof. Well, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. But it's kind of on the sidewall here too. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. It's quite abrasive, whatever it is. But it's only in that area, so I'm wondering if it's like the raft is just losing some of its product because it's hot here. Oh, look, this dewatering grate looks familiar, doesn't it? Okay, well somebody up here doing something. Interesting, interesting. I don't know this color. I haven't seen that color yet. I would say that one good thing that would probably be helpful here is to have a, uh, a good pressure washing of this unit. I think that would be helpful. Just so you have a better idea of what's going on maybe get some of this black junk off. I don't know what this is, like I said. <clears throat> it's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So now I'm at the bottom of this boomerango. <laughs> Excuse me. So here's where it dewaters. There's one dewatering plate there. There's another two dewatering plates there. Um, yeah. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. 
I have sprayers just like the uh, big boomerango I've got. And it has the dewatering just like here, like I've got here, see? It's got this plate here. It's pretty cool. Um, it is a lot smaller, but of course that makes sense for being a one or two man. There's a school right across the street. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the structure is, is pretty sound. The same way as like what we've built out or we've got built. It's pretty cool. Pretty simple. And it's got sprayers on top, just like I do. Not a big fan of that. All right, let's take a look at this bowl here. <clears throat> I will say this. I See, and I've been wanting to do this under our bowl. We need a... We need rocks under our bowl. Um, oh, that's crazy. These are interesting. So the way these work is they've got jets that are just pipes, right? But they come off of a big manifold pipe. Um, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what they call this one. What the super, uh, I mean, ours is called Super Bowl. And this is gonna be a Super Bowl variant, I think. So, um, now what's cool is you can see right through the middle, where I don't know if you guys remember mine, mine has the as a ceiling, as a roof. But this is pretty cool. Man, I kinda wanna take mine off now. <laughs> Why not, right? Who cares? Okay, let's go to the next one. Alrighty. So this is my first time to be in a tornado, pro slide tornado. So I'm, Pretty excited about that. Oh, I thought the sound would be a lot more echoey, but it's not right now. Is it because I'm at the bottom? This is crazy. Uh, a lot of glass. Um, I've said this before about tornadoes and about, you know, big slides that have a lot of glass. Like, it's just so much glass. So much glass. Wow. Um, I would say the top of the tornado here is from where I'm standing. Um, maybe like 25 feet, 30, 20 feet. It's not that high actually. Um, I know there are different versions of the tornado, but uh, for this one for sure, it's not a, I think it's the full size one. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm really surprised at the echo. It's crazy. So our friends over at Pro Slide, or excuse me, Safe Slide came in and did some did some uh, seam work here. Looks good. No. <laughs> Quite interesting. Very well. It's a big old exit there. I am a little surprised at the splash pool. It's really not that big compared to what I'm, I'm used to, right? It's not very big. Um, but that might be why we have these multiple. So this is a this is a catch break right here. This one I just went into is a catch break, and then this is another catch break. So. The idea there is you stop here, it's gonna water, it's gonna pull just a little bit and then push you into the next one. Same thing here, put water a pull, push you into it. So um, yeah, it's very interesting. Um, just seems like a short run out to me, but hey, it works, it works, right? Can't complain about it. Doesn't take a lot of real estate when it comes to, when it comes to getting over here, right here. So yeah, very cool. 
Okay, team. So, back here at one of the one of the pump houses. One thing I noticed: we don't see many of these. At least I don't. Not in a long time. It's a volt search pit. Um, the indoor pool I used to work at was definitely one of these. Um, scary as hell. I don't know how big the tank is, but I'm assuming it's very big. Um, only because, check out this damn pump house. Look at this pump pit. It is way down there. Like crazy big. It's impressively big. What the hell? Oh my God, I just see something that just looks ridiculous. Wow, that's a big old one, boy. A big old boy. Yeah, that's a big pump house, man. It's deep in there. Um, very interesting why it's so deep. I'm not really sure. Um, got a filter array here. So what it seems like to me is we get filtered or we get uh, pump water coming up here. <clears throat> it goes out the top here, and then this is your in. So most of these sand filters the way they work is water's pushed through the bottom or through the top down goes through the filter bed and then this is the return line right here um but and yeah that's how this one works and then if you want to go into backwash you're just basically going to flip that okay so i want to figure out how to flip it how do i flip it how do you flip it so it's a backwash line yeah, that makes sense. So the way this works is you'll close this valve off. Turn off the pump, of course. Close this valve off. You open that one and then close off that one. And what that's gonna do, it's going to, and then you'll leave this one open. What that's gonna do is that one's gonna force water now. When it comes, it comes down this way, it stops there, then it goes down here and hits this line. And then each one of these individual filters is gonna get pressure off this line. You're gonna wanna turn, you know, it'll close this valve. You push water through the bottom, turn it, comes here, hits backwash, and goes into the backwash tank. Um, hmm. Now, trying to see. Yeah, it won't work that way. I was trying to see if there's a way to make it a clean water backwash. Unfortunately, with this system, you can't. But that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> It's okay. Interesting. You know what? For being Las Vegas, man, it was chilly this morning. Finally got warmed up. All right, so let's talk about this one. Um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, this attraction, it can be, I think, a four-person, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Four riders. Yeah, it does four riders on the rules. Um, now, a cool thing is, or interesting thing is, see, so it says Rattler and Constrictor. So, those are the actual market names for these attractions. And this, and what I mean by that is, so like that, that is a white water uh, Rattler. And then this one right above, just like mine at the home park, that's a Constrictor. So, um, but uh, here they just kept them. They kept them the same. Now I will say that this constrictor, it's a full size constrictor. Um, it is a bit different than, than my constrictor. It's almost built like an aquasphere. Um, and I say that because you see right here, hold on, let me see if it, you see right here, that's a dewatering grate and it comes across and then it dewaters again. Um, and then it actually has some jets there too. Um, and then it shoots the jet back over here. I am gonna try and walk it here in a second. Um, my foot's kind of feeling kind of crappy right now, so hopefully I can make it happen. But uh, yeah, these are full size, this is a full size constrictor, or excuse me, rattler. And then this one is just, I believe, one man, two man um, uh, rattle, uh, constrictor, right? Yeah, that's a rattler. Damn, can't think right now. Anyway, just like mine, I don't think it has the, the clear glass like mine does or the transparent glass now let's look we're on the bottom side of this constrictor this one has three um which now i'm jealous it has three it might have some inside ones that are crystal clear i don't know but uh we'll find out i want to walk inside of it
So now bottom of the bottom of the rattler. Oh damn, I can't think. Bottom of the constrictor. You'll see that it's actually a run out uh, type, not going into a splash pool. Um, we're gonna go to the mat racer in a little bit. I think it's really cool. I want to chat about it. But um, let me get my water bottle off. It's a little bit heavy. <clears throat> Okay, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't look like there's any transparent in it. But a lot of times these lighter colors are easier to see in, even if they're enclosed. So we'll find out shortly. Hopefully I don't get flushed. Let's see. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got a bubble there that I'm just kind of curious about. Is over here. Okay. Oh wow. wow. So this constrictor, can you can we even see? Oh damn. I'm on my headlamp, boys, and girls. <sighs> but uh yeah, it's dark in there. Really dark, impressive. I do want to look at this. You can actually see it in the video too, that little bump here. I'm gonna go check it. Um, it's still pretty cool for being uh, Vegas. So it might be where it's just, uh, it just buckled because it's so cold. It's, it's literally constricting on itself. All right, no more puns, sorry. Let's take a look. Can I get under it? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's check this out. Okay. Now, whenever you're looking for a, a slide like this, yeah, so let's see. You see how it's actually concave right there? That's just the buckling from it being cold. And it happens a lot whenever you're next, right next to a, a yoke here. Oh, where's the other one? The other one was close by too. Hey, there it is. Right there. See it? So whenever we're looking at these, we want to make sure that they're actually not cracked in the center. Cracked right here. Once they're cracked, you're going to have a lot of problems, but this one's not cracked. There we go. Yeah, this one looks exactly like mine. I've never been able to see the constrictor close to like low because mines are not low. Mine's another level up. So this one's this is kind of cool to be right here. Oh, lordy, lordy. Um, one thing I was like, man, that's cool. It wasn't leaking. Mine's leaking like a sieve. But Captain Redbeard got those working the other day. Got them fixed. So, ain't no leaking no more. Okay, well, I don't feel like walking up that dark slide the whole way. Righty, now here's the Rattler. Now, like I said before, this Rattler is a bigger because it's for a multi-man. Uh, instead of a one or two man or woman or child whatever girl boy you'll see there's a pipe there that's an outlet from the dewatering station okay Got a little buckle there not bad it's, i feel like this one is this one's definitely bigger than mine um but the outlet's the same size what it is is it's the wall here this reminds me a lot of our aquasphere so it almost looks like a variant of the aquasphere <laughs> got a red light green light set up right there dewatering station so this dewatering station once it dewaters it goes to that one part on the other side that i showed you okay <sighs> my favorite part walking up slides okay um, now this one is a really long linearly this is a long ride i'm gonna guess because you even have these these uh rattler sections uh i'm gonna guess that this is a at least a minute ride um maybe 45 seconds but somewhere around there it's a good it's got to be a nice long ride um i hope to get up here when it's operational and get some rides on it um I need my credits. Look at that mountain view. Beautiful. That's cool. Oh, and of course, houses. 
I don't know how cool it would be to live next to a water park. Let's see. Wow. Y'all see that shake? I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty impressive. But she still feels really good and solid. This is a newer ride. Look at that pipe, man. For dewatering, that's crazy. That is crazy. And I, I think y'all know this, but for your dewatering, most of the time the dewatering is just for using gravity. Just using gravity. Okay. Ooh, spooky. Okay, this one has jets. Um, and I think for these, for lack of a better way to say it, these are just centering jets. And so what it does is it comes here and when the raft hits this wall, it's oscillating a lot. What this jets do, because you don't want it oscillating and then it hits that curve, right? There's a chance to flip it. So what they want to do is center the raft and then have it go down. So you can see right here, you might see the path right here. That's pushing it to be where it's going to now go straight and make the curve. So pretty cool, very cool. Okay, there's that dewatering grade up here. And now we're at the start tub. Very cool, very cool. Man, look at that drop. It's actually a pretty good drop for this constrictor. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Hi, hi camera. Pretty park, very pretty park. I like these LED lights they have up here. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right, here's a good overhead shot of this pump house. There's a lot going on in this pump house. Now, from what I understand, which is crazy to me, guys, crazy, crazy, crazy. So over there, and I'll show it to you, right in this direction, in this area, and I think under here too, right here, is a sump, is a is the search pit for that traction and this attraction, and it pumps it all the way from over here. Isn't that crazy? That seems crazy to me. It's such a long run. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whew. But because um, if you notice, ours the sump pits are right are very close to the pump pits, and here it's not like that. It's the other way around. That's impressive. Very impressive. But big pump house, huge. Look at that. Got a Defender filter right there. Neptune Benson double stack horizontal sand filters, which are some of my favorite filters to use if I'm using sand filters. They're fantastic. Uh, we got a broiler right in the center. Um, the water apparently comes in really cold around here, regardless of how hot it is. It's kind of crazy to me. I don't know why, um, why it does that, but nonetheless, it could be, I don't know, groundwater, I guess. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me that's a little bit more familiar with, uh, with how water runs here in Vegas, you know, Nevada. But they have to heat the water. It is super cold right now. Um, I'm going to try and walk this attraction for here in a minute. Because I want to, I don't know if y'all see this, but you see on here, they got these yellow stripes on this slide. Those are slide boarding. Um, apparently, they're just like us. They don't use them anymore. But I am curious about these blue, these blue slide with the stripes. So, um, we might try and make that walk here shortly. See how it works. Alrighty. Now, these are three basic tube slides, raft slides from uh, Whitewater. Um, I do like this color scheme. I like the yellow and green, especially for some reason. But, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Little bridge. Little bridge. All right. Let's get under that one. That's an that's interesting. I wonder what happened there. See, it's purple here. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Well, good. If you need any more, you know, help, let me know. That's what I'm here for. So, if you need to go through it, so. Okay. That's pretty. 
Hey guys. Okay, okay. That's a good little drop right here. Nice little drop. I love it. I love it. All right, all right. Okay, okay. And they get high on that wall right there. Look at that. Get really high. <clears throat> Got a little scuffing of the gel coat there. Nothing too crazy. Oh, I hear something. Let me see. Come with your shakes. But she's still pretty solid. Oh, I've never seen. Oh, I still don't see it. So I think this is one of the more original versions of the slide boarding kit. Interesting. Interesting. That's a good drop, too. I have to run up it. Oh. Yep, had to run a little bit. It's a pretty park, I'm not gonna lie. Very pretty park. Ooh, you hear that? Hmm. You can set that yoke right there that's making some noises. Let's see if we can hear it a little closer. That's this yoke right here. Interesting, interesting. Low bridge. That shocked me. I ground, I was, I wonder what the foam they get from, I wonder what that foam is, that's nice. I like that foam. It's another little bridge right here though, look at that. Oh, okay. I think I see what it is, boys. Interesting, interesting. So, you see how the collar here, the collar right here, I think the cross member beam right there, right for that yoke, is actually rubbing against that glass. I think that's what it is. It's kind of hard to tell. If I had my selfie stick, I could look at it, but I don't feel like getting it out. Okay. Bum -ba -dum, ba -da -da -dum -ba -dum. This is a decent drop. Okay. Wait. Oh, stop. Oh, oh, oh. Eh. Okay. I'm up. Holy crap. What the hell was that? Must have been a rock caught in there. Jeez, and rice that scared me. Okay. Okay, yep. I know this well. I know this well. So these were the old speaker mounts. Um, I guess this was for the old start tub section because um, the older ones had like a guide for these two for the for the slide boards. Once I get home, I'll, I could show a slide board. We can talk about the old slide board a little bit. Um, there's the control panel for it. So if I'm not mistaken, let me see if they got it on this one. I wonder how they did it then. So. On mine, I have a I have a cut right here, about right here, and what it is is that's to access the panel, and under it there's a reader, because each one of the slide boards had a uh, like a RFID reader. So when you registered the board on the floor, when you come up here, it registers you and knows that you're the writer. And then it had a TV screen right here, and it would say, "Hey, look, you're the writer," and then it would tell you one, two, three, go. And that's the big control panel for it. <laughs> Um, what's interesting is there's a, the panel for it, the start top is, is way up here, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why it's way over here. And at one point it looks like they had a, a repeater. So you see the speaker? So we used to have a repeater. One thing I see that's cool, it's a lightning rod. We don't have lightning rods on mine. 
Not sure why. Um, cool. Very cool. Ooh, ooh, I'm tired. Ooh. I wonder what that room is. I think it's a pump motor, river motivator in there. Can't see. Man, look at that mountain range. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and look at you, look at you. We can see downtown a little bit, I think. Maybe? I don't know any of the, I don't know what's over there, so I don't, I can't tell you whether, where I'm at. <laughs> Sorry. That's a natatorium. Kind of wish they would let me go and walk that, but uh, beautiful building. Um, in the back, you can see the uh, air handler systems. And to be honest with you, I almost kind of know those air handler systems. They look like Ceresco's to me. I'm wondering if that's what they got. I'm going to see if I can look up some information about that apparently this building along with that in this parking lot we're actually using is owned by the county and the county uses uh, the, the, the the county operates it but uh i kind of want to see if they'll let me go and do some video but um but yeah that's a uh, that's where a natatorium in there so looking at it just from the outside it's probably going to be a short course pool um or what we call a uh stretch uh, stretch 25 which means it's a 25 yards and then they have an extra section that's for deep in for diving um, they might have it in there i will say that the roof's a little low for it so maybe they have it i don't know be kind of interesting to see um i might see if i can get in there by kind of fun i'm hesitant to go down this my back's hurting and quite honestly that drop that's a damn good drop like a really good drop hmm does I want to do it okay I'll do it the things I do for you okay so if I hurt myself it's on y'all doing this for y'all I mean this is a legit drop oh my gosh Oh my goodness, oh, my feet hurt. Okay, oh, look at that. So here's panel one. Yeah, here's panel one. Um, so the way you used to be able to do this is you could take this apart right here and you can access the panel and all the, all the pieces that go to it. But isn't that cool? Look at this glass. Whoa. It's a little crunchy right there. It's a little crunchy right there. Isn't this cool? Wow. That is neat. Oh, I thought this was translucent. It's not. I thought this was translucent. It's not. It's just a light kind of bleeding over. Oh man, it's dark now. Whew. See a little light going through. I kind of hate going through this without a damn flashlight, headlamp. Should have brought it. I'm so sorry. I know somebody bought me a flashlight. Got some cracks in the glass here. There's a strike right there. Bunch of Interesting. Oh my goodness. It is super dark. Hello. Okay, gotta flip my head backwards. All I have is the light. I cannot see crap. Holy crud. Okay, let me see. Hold on a second. Here we go. Now I'm no, I don't feel scared anymore. I was scared. Hmm. 
I don't know, man. The glass feels a little spongy to me, but solid for no, sure. This feels a little spongy. Okay, another clear section. That's cool. Very cool. Now my back's hurting. I hope we're reaching the end soon. Maybe? Or is this another colored section? It's another colored section, but another, yeah. Another one of those panels. And the idea was when you pass one of these panels, you would uh, hit a button on your slide board and it would give you a score. Okay, and we are now at the end. Whew. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, goodness. I think I'm gonna quit. I'm too, too old for this. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm too old. I should go into management. Oh wait, I am there, damn it. <sighs> like I said earlier, the pump room is that big old purple building over there. It's way over there. Here's the search pit for it. And if I'm not mistaken, like I said, I gotta confirm, but it's those three slides and then these two that dump into the search pit. And wow, it's kinda hard to see, but it is deep and big in there. That's nuts. And apparently it's this whole box right here that's all that's all the search pit it's a lot of water guys just turn the pump off for this that seems to be the search pit for this mat racer now i will tell you this is a cool mat racer this one's set up like the one we have at home i don't think they called this a wizard because i think the wizard implies that it makes a spin like ours does the one at the home park um poo but nonetheless, uh, it has the same size, same type of run out, which I really like. It's pretty cool. Um, there's one thing I don't like about this slide. I bet y'all might be able to pin it, but look at all these colors. Now, don't get me wrong. I like it. I like the colors. However, how many colors do I have to have of repair gel coat now? So I got that yellow, which is traffic yellow, got traffic orange this is traffic red that is not traffic green that is um yellow green and then that is uh oh i can't remember the blue it's not traffic blue um and then this is violet purple or uh, no they call it like something else they call it like heather pink or something like that something like that heather pink i think but there's just so many colors to deal with oh now we have black up there please tell me there's white now now yeah, I have black, so it doesn't really have a big deal. But the only thing that I could say that's a good thing about this is I have these colors also in that, in that attraction and in that attraction. So we can match a lot of these colors, but man, it's a lot of glass. It's a lot of different colors. Just kind of deal with it, you know. It's the only thing I, I don't like about it. But man, um, that's a decent drop on the second round. That's the same size as ours, that drop is. But I will say the slide itself looks longer. It's a pretty cool slide. I like it. I haven't been to this pump house yet. So, what do you say? We do a blind react or what? Okay. So on this tower, there's two attractions. It's the mat racer and then the body slides. The two body slides. Both of those are run out of this pit, but they are out of this search, this pump house, but they are different search pits from what it looks like. And the only, so you'll, the only reason I say that, well, I say that, but this is very interesting. I, I don't, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 okay. It, it's right, I'm, I'm, all right. So you see it says Matt Racer slide. And this one says free fall slide. Well, I saw this line right here, and then this line connected to it too. But really what it is, is that's just the backwash line. 
Here's the, here's the, here's the return, or not the return, here's the water coming in. This one is two, they're coming from two different pumps, right? And they're also going out in different directions. Okay, you see that one goes that way. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, nuances here. Um, but honestly, you know, when I come into a new, a new pump house, um, people get, especially newbies and within the industry, they get really overwhelmed by the amount of valves and pumps. But once you figure out the mechanics, once you understand the mechanics, the rest of it actually just falls into place. Now you can see they did something very clever here that I like, normally open, normally close, normally open, normally close. All right, so if we follow the path here, remember this sand filter I said earlier in part of the video is the water goes in, comes out the bottom, and that's filtered water. So let's follow the line as far as the valves go. Okay, so this line goes to waste. Right now, we don't want to send water to waste, so we're going to back, we're going to put it normally closed. It's closed. We need water to come into the pot top and not the bottom, so we shut this valve. Normally closed. Water comes in, goes in through the filter, down, through the sand, comes this way. Now, it's hitting the wall there, so it's going to get hit this valve. That valve is normally open, so it's going to go and return back to pool or wherever it goes to. So, basically... If I needed to put this in backwash, no problem. I know exactly how to do it. It just takes some time to understand how, how to do it, okay? Um, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people get overwhelmed. Listen, just take your time, understand the mechanics and the water flow. Just think about the electricity, you know, how to, which way do I want the electricity to go? And that's it, same way, okay? Um, they are using Pulsar here from what it looks like. Um, not my favorite, but uh, Pulsar has its own, uh, um uh, positives with it it is it is a a cal hypo product which you know me i like cal hypo so we're in that shape there big controllers for it i'm not really sure what this shunt oh it's shunt trip okay never mind um i don't feel like going down there really long walk but we can get a good visual of it from up here decent sized pumps um, most of them are really small. Like this is not a, uh, this is not going to be a major, major deal because we just don't have, we don't need to move a lot of water for this attraction, especially if they're, they're self-contained pools. So not a big deal. Man, that tower is big. I want to say this one's taller than my mat racer, but I don't, I don't know. It's hard to visualize when you have nothing to go against. Right. I will say these body slides, these are some of the coolest body slides in the world. I love these body slides. Just I say that in the sense that these types of body slides, like I love free fall body slides. These are awesome. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I had a couple like this. It's legit. This is pretty cool. One thing I've noticed here at this site, at the other park, they didn't have much grass. It was mostly rock, but they have grass here. Let me tell you what, folks, this grass is pretty. I'm gonna get some video of it. I hope somebody can tell me what kind it is. I don't know what kind of grass it is, but man, it's pretty. Um, it might be a type of Bermuda, but it looks a little too long to be a Bermuda. And Bermuda is good in hot climates, but I don't know if it's Bermuda. It looks a little too long to be Bermuda, um, and the the blades are a little too thick. But uh, nonetheless, this is a cool the, the grass. And look how pretty it is. They shoot, they cut it this morning. Um, man, it looks like a they cut it a little shorter. It might be a putting green, but it is very pretty, very pretty. Alrighty, we are at the bottom at bottom of the free fall, man. It's a now looking at it this way, it might be the same height as that because I'm looking at the yellow one and thinking about my yellow one. It's about the same. It's about the same. So like I said earlier, it goes into these two go into a surge pit of its own. So I did find the surge pit. There it is down there. Wow. These surge pits are deep, man. Crazy. Now we've got the river here. It's a little cloudy they did a they just they brushed the hell out of it earlier so it's pretty dirty you'll see the grates down there that's the intake for one of the river motivators 
Go river. All right, but here's the thing. I can hear the river motivator behind it here. This wall, this beautiful green wall. Now here's the funny thing about it. All right, let's see if anyone notices it before I say the magic thing. Anybody figure it out yet? Here's the question. How do you get in there? Just fly by the seat of your pants? All right, so for this one, I'm gonna reach over, I'm gonna stand on this rock and reach over with my camera and then hopefully I can give some commentary. I'll freeze the video if I need to. I'll give some commentary on what I see. <clears throat> I'm assuming there's a pit. I don't know. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh look, a brand new piston. Well, kind of brand new. They stole the bottom out of it. But uh, yeah, brand new glad hand seal. That's a brand new sh piston. Alrighty, hopefully you can hear me. Got two motors down there. They they push water to the defender filter that they have for the wave pool here's the control panel this is the waves by whitewater it's the same thing for us you'll see that panel looks very familiar right same thing the blower is a little different interesting interesting they actually put the where the water line is that's kind of funny see it right here water line that's funny um, and then I think it says case on. Yep, it says case on. Not really sure what the purpose of that was for, but hey, it's good information and air. So here's one of the blower motors. Nice, nice. But if you notice, let's go somewhere where it's a little sun shinier. See this big old room here? Man, look at this. So it gets a lot of airflow through here. So there's very little rust in here, which I'm very jealous about. But if you look, this piston's been, work, been working on, they've been working on it, but it's the same setup I've got in mind. Uh, same way, same type of wave maker. So we had a discussion on how to maintain these. Um, what's the best process for those? Uh, but nonetheless, this is their pump house. Um, these are the, uh, these are uh, uh, mermaid. These are mermaid uh, uh, strainer baskets. Um, as you can see, they're made out of fiberglass. What's crazy about these is this elongated, um, eccentric yeah eccentric reducer yeah um and then that's a concentric reducer right there but uh yeah it's crazy look how close it is or how big it is it's just nuts but nonetheless these are good strainer baskets i've had a few of these in my past um they're great no problems what's really nice about these is if you unloosen this one this one and then loosen that one this one actually folds down and then you slide the whole thing, you spin it, you spin it and you can get the basket out. It's really nice. I had these at the natatorium. These were really cool. Um, these are cool. I like these, but uh, I'm, I am partial to the Defender or not the Defender, Neptune Benson kind. So, but nonetheless, these are cool. These are cool.